Hi, and welcome to Discovering Dataflex 15 with me, Johan Rolfeldt. Today we're going to talk about data dictionaries. And um, the data dictionaries are the glue that puts the view in contact with the database. Okay, so you have the database and you have your views and you want something in the middle called data dictionaries to maintain uh, the business rules. And in the MVC world, you call it the controller. And in Microsoft world, you call it the view model. So, you know what we're talking about. And you have some tables and you have some views. And the data dictionaries are uh, connected, one data dictionary to each table. You can have other classes as well, but the idea is that yeah, you have business rules for each table in your corresponding data dictionary. Then when you create a view, you can choose to use some of the data dictionaries or only one of the data dictionaries, depending on what data you want to present in your view. So what happens? We have a view, an input field in this case, and you have the record buffer and the database. And the record buffer is something that happens in between. It's like a buffer storage before you save it to the database because you might want to keep track of what you have and what you are changing to and stuff like that before actually saving it to the database. So what happens? You enter a text into the uh, text field and you press save and then Dataflex will call a sequence of procedures and functions and the first one is clear main file. Then you have the field defaults and here you can uh, manipulate the data. You can enter a default value or otherwise you can set up the default value in the data dictionary so it will automatically be filled out here. So you don't have to write any code, you can just set the default value for this box and then it will put it here. And then it will run a function called a procedure called on new current record. And this one is called basically every time you change something. So that could be useful if you, for instance, want to update another field because you change something in one field. So you can put that code here. Then the database is locked, so no one else can save to the database. Everyone can still read from the database, but no one else than you can save to the database. And then the creating is called, because you might want to do something when you are creating something. And then, the record buffer is updated with a value from the field. And then the update function is called because now you have updated data. Then you get a validate save, which is a function that where you can put some validation. Um, perhaps you wanted to check if the value is uh, larger than zero or something like that. And then save main file is called and the data in the record buffer is moved to the database. And then the database is unlocked. So this is what happens when you do an create or insert. If you do an update, then you have some text in the database. The record buffer could be the same text if we just entered it, but it could also be any other text from another field. And now we write new text in our field and press save. What happens? Well, first we run clear main file, which clears the buffer. So we have a fresh bar bar buffer to work with. Then we fill the default values. Then we call the on new current record. 
um, yeah, for new current record, actually, we get the text from the database. Then we log the database and we run the backout function with the text. And then the backout is used to reset, for example, if you remove, a, if you have an order where you have 10 products you bought. And if you want to buy, like, say, 12 products, the backout is uh, the function where you remove the 10 because you remove the value from the database and then the record buffer is updated and then you run the update function so now if you want to add those 12 products you do that in the update so if you have like a header detail you can make sure that you first remove and clear all the data that you had before, before you, in the update, add the new data. And, and you could do it in other ways, but this is the way that Dataflex has done it since version 2 or something like that. Then you have the validate save, that validates that this is okay to save. Save main file moves the new value into the database and the database is unlocked. And the last procedure is a delete. And now you have your new texts um, and you press delete. Clear main file, read defaults, on current new, you get the value from the database. You lock the database, validate, delete, checks that it is okay to delete this value, and then deleting is called, backout is called to remove any extras. If you um, have these 10 products and you delete the order, then you might want to delete the 10 products as well. And then delete main file, and the value is removed from the database and the database is unlocked so this is the order in which these procedures and functions are called and I'm just going to show you a thing that will come in handy when you write code and that's you have the data dictionary here this is for the header of the uh, web order and I'm taking the order date as a value to check out and here in every procedure I have the procedure clear main file on new current record attach main file save main file and so on I've added this um, show line and what this does is when the application runs you get a small box where you get values out. Now I will show you that in a second. And you get these printed. And here's the forward send clear main file. And when you add one of these procedures to your data dictionary, because they don't have to be there, they, because this one will be called anyway in the base class. But if you add it, you need to also add the forward send clear main file. And on your uh, current record, you need to also provide the parameters that are provided here. And you do the forward send. So let's see what happens if we go in and run this application. Now you can see we already have a long list of things going on here, so we can press clear. And uh, then we go in and, and put our cursor here and do a find. So now we got 2010 or 106, and it's right here. So you can see clear main file, enter and leave, 
on current new record enter field defaults field defaults and then on current new record leave and then we attach main file and then we attach main file again and these two are because we are attaching the lines and then we are also attaching the products and then you have on your current record again and this time you have the value in the record buffer so if I now clear this and I go back in here and click next you will see that first of all in the clear main file we have the old value then we have a blank and then we go in and set defaults we have no default value for this and then we do on current new record for this one again and attach main file we still have the old value and then we have the new value on current new record we haven't saved anything but we still get all of these um, things calling here and now we might want to change this value nothing happened yet leave this field nothing happened I press save and I get clear main file so it clears the value gets the value from the database and it's still 02 in the database and asks me this is validate save uh, and I need to confirm save and then you see all the backout and updates and the test main file save main file stores the new value and then you have the on current record so you can see everything that's going on here and I encourage you to try this or use this as a means of debugging you have the debugger tool up here but sometimes it might be easier to just show everything uh, in the code like this what's going on before and after you forward send something and that's it for um, this episode of Discovering Dataflex. In the next episode, we will dive a little bit deeper into data dictionaries. And um, looking forward to that.